Okay guys, part 3. Now I gave some thought how I was going to teach this actually, but I think I've managed. I'm going to pick up a little bit uh, at the second lesson. E major chord, triple down, and that's exactly where we finished. Just a little reminder. Now, this third part that I'm doing is actually the beginning, the first video. But it has a few little differences, some different trills, places different, and then to suggest that something else is going to happen, for example, the end. And here I go from the beginning, the first video, I'll just play through and stop where the first difference occurs. you remember this uh, move from the first video and then you place your ring finger on the bass on the last bass and we lift it up and then we went to the D major chord but here I want you to push it a little bit further so I just simply press down press open press down and then when I pressed open I just hammered on and pull up yeah playing with the pinky there but now you want to place all three fingers from before not to go down on the seventh fret you want to do it from before pluck your bass as well and do a full slide and there when we put index on the first video so we do the trill we're not going to do the trill there we're going to do it a little bit further down so we slide play the three strings instead of a trill Remove everything and keep your ring finger there as we did in the first video. Slide down to the ninth fret, bar on the seventh. Play the three strings together, the middle, the third, and the second. Now instead of playing these two together as we did before, you just play the second string. Do a hammer on pull off with your ring finger right there from the seventh fret to the ninth fret to the seventh. trying to get the best angle to show you guys so it does sound quite similar as the first part but it does has a few little differences and in the guitar world you can really feel those ones here as you notice is a roll down a major chord as before have that pattern that we did on the second video and we were going to jump right to the A major 7th chord but we're going to do it somewhere here what I do there is uh, as I'm holding the three strings on the second fret you want to place also on the second fret on the first string so instead of this sound, it's like it's turning into a 7 yeah so Lift up again and play the first string open. Then you want to shape a D major chord that will be barring everything on the fifth string and the second, the third, and the fourth on the seventh fret. Some people press it like so, with their fingers all together there. And then play the middle bass in the first string for a nice cutesy sound. Roll down four. Now we have a little of a soloing happening here on the fourth string on the fourth fret. That seventh fret again on the fourth string. Now on the third string on the fourth fret. A major again. Third string, first string, second string. slide it down mm -hmm. 
little bit of a stretch now. I place the index finger on the third string on the fourth fret and the pinky on the second string on the seventh fret and plug those two together, index middle finger. Then place the ring finger on the sixth fret on the fourth string and play the fourth string and the third string together. Harmonic. That's basically right over the metal frets that we have here. You want to find your seventh metal fret, which if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and place your finger right over them without pressing down. And I place the side skin of the pinky by twisting a little bit the thumb towards out of the body of the guitar and touch the second, third and fourth string, play them together two times. D major. Two times, the second time you can place a, a bass. I slide it again down like on the first video. Put your pinky on the first string on the fifth fret and then bar everything on the fifth fret and place your middle finger on the third string on the sixth fret and play the top bass third string second string first string and you can also have a natural harmonic if you have an 18 fret guitar the one before before the last one two three or counting from the 12th one two three four five fret and does it sound a lot on this guitar? <laughs> and a nice little harmonic. That was a hard one to explain the last one. Eh, ambulance going through. I gotta find another place to do these videos, guys. So I hope you like this uh, video. Again, it's a classical piece which is very hard to decipher and explain. But the main purpose is if you learn something new, then I've managed to do something good with my videos once again. Thank you for your support and your love throughout the years. This is almost now six years teaching here on YouTube and sharing my knowledge with my guitar friends. Thank you so much again for your comments, your donation and all the words of encouragement. I will never stop giving the lessons as I improve with your help. I will continue sharing that knowledge. Come and find us on Facebook or giveawayloser.com for any amount of donations. God bless. See you on the next video guys.